Next on the list, um, big up. Who, who I need to thank here? I need to thank. Oh, I forgot who it was. Sorry, whoever it was that DM'd me on fucking um Twitter about this. And also, big up, 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 big up. Who else? Big up somebody on the Discord too for posting this. But um, someone called Mark Random, who I know briefly from his time on Legion of Skanks. There was a period in time, I don't really know why this happened, but there was a period of time where this Mark Random character was all over, was all over um, Legion of Skank stuff. Like, really was all over Legion of Skank stuff. And then he kind of disappeared. So I'm assuming he probably fell out with him, but he was a kind of effervescent character that kind of appeared over there, right? Um, so he posted this post on his Instagram and his Facebook and other places, kind of responding to the video that I did um, or the clip that I made from my live stream talking about Zach Amico and the caption is interesting so let's read the caption and go through it so big up Mark Random right big up big up Mark Random so what's the caption say despite Zach Amico's issues with me I'm openly condemning social media accounts posting videos like this cheering and mocking him over this guess I was one of the few that actually loved and cared about Zach in 2019 off air um, saying dude i know it's difficult life he doesn't like punctuation does he jesus christos okay dude hold on dude i know it's a difficult life if you need someone to talk to i'm here or hey man all your dreams come true we all have demons you can get past to appreciate your life or if you need help i'm a phone call away and then his fans mocked slash hated me for it i realized i didn't want him me to i'd, I'd realized I realized didn't want me to speak to him and I left it alone for four years until this year. Still, I'm praying for Zach Amico, Mark X, not random. And obviously all the hashtags with Mark. Now, I completely understand his response and it's completely fair because he's a friend, right? He knows Zach Amico. So seeing somebody like me, a random like me, pop up on stream or on social media, essentially berating his, you know, his colleague, makes a lot of sense. Obviously... Big up, um, Asada Z's appreciate for super chat, brother. Oz, the reason you don't understand Matt Wright is because you are a man with individuality. Yeah, thank you, as Asada Z, appreciate that. But I would say Matt Wright has some individuality too. I don't think I'm that special, really, to be fair. Um, but thank you for the super chat, brother. I really do appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I say Matt Wright has individuality too. Um, I just know it's a bit, you know it's never as easy as it looks, you know, to kind of handle that level of fame and popularity he's getting. I'm sure he's wanted it his whole life because he looks like somebody that was probably, you know, groomed to be a success in all manner of ways in terms of entertainment stuff. And I'm sure it's not a fucking overnight success story. I'm sure he's been working very, very hard in it. But in general, um, you know, there's probably more reason why he's acting the way he does. And I'm hoping at the end, he kind of figures it out. So, you know, big up Matt Rife and his journey. And big up you, SRZ, for Super Chat. I appreciate you, brother. So go back to what I was saying here. Um, in short, I understand his reaction to it because my, you know, my title of the video, the clip that I did, was a little bit, you know, clickbaity, to be honest, right? Zach Mika is very fat and Legion of Skank fans are very worried. There was obviously truth in my statement, but it's obviously a little bit clickbaity to get people to react to it and obviously click it. Um, but if you actually watch the clip itself, I am, I think, quite fair and balanced when it comes to this sort of stuff. Again, it's not really an explanation for it, but um, when I started off watching the clip, I think I started off basically saying, I think it's a bit disingenuous, right? And kind of performative, what people do this whole like fake, oh, I'm worried about this person sort of thing online when they're really not, right? In general. And I, and I still stand by that. I think there are people in your actual real life that deserve that level of um, concern and stuff that you should be concerned about as opposed to fucking celebrities that you don't fucking know. Do you know what I mean? I think it's fucking odd. And if anything, he's a grown ass man. If he wants to you know eat himself to death let him eat himself to death it's not a problem um i don't think it's a bad thing to you know to go out on your own terms if his own terms he wants to go out on is eating a fucking whopper at fucking 1am in the morning let him do what he wants to do um and that's his decision um but then obviously having watched his content and watched him doing stand up i was like oh shit this guy's actually really funny and i was like you know what maybe it would actually be a sad thing if he actually did die fair enough but am i going to sit here and say i'll cry if he did no would i care really not really i don't really know the guy and i don't think that's a bad thing to say i just think um it's an honest thing to say you know but i also understand if you're mark random you actually a quote-unquote friend and you know him 
I understand why you'd react that way. Because if you saw, if I saw one of my friends getting trashed by somebody that looked like me online, I'd also react the way he did. You know what I mean? So I kind of get it. So I understand him defending his friend. I get it. Um, the video, I don't think was as bad as the title makes it seem as. Um, but I understand why he was reacting that way. So a big up Mark Random. I completely get it, mate. Um, you know, hopefully Zach Amico figures it out. And hopefully all the Legion of Skank fans have Zach Amico around to do his good content and shit. So big up mark random